Chapter 3 Man is God According to Hinduism, the basic concept is that everything is God. There is, fundamentally, no distinction between God and His creation. In Hindu philosophy, every living being has a self or a soul that is called Atma. It is generally believed that the soul is actually God, called Brahman. Consequently, the essence of Hindu belief is the idea that Atma and Brahman are one and the same. In other words, the human soul is divine. Furthermore, human society is divided into castes or classes where each caste represents human beings who came into existence from different parts of the divine being, Brahman. The upper caste, the Brahmins, came from the head of God, whereas the lowest caste, the Sudras, came from God's feet. Though there are officially only four main castes, there are in reality many sub-castes. Each one of the main castes is subdivided into thousands of lesser castes. Hindus believe that when a person dies, he or she is reincarnated. The soul, Atma, of the dead person never dies but is continually reborn. If people are good in this life, then they will be reborn into a higher level of the caste system in their next life. Conversely, if they are bad in this life, they will be reborn into a lower level which is one of the main reasons why so many Hindus commit suicide annually. Newspapers regularly record incidents of individuals and families hanging themselves from fans in their homes. In a recent edition of one of the local papers, a Hindu man killed himself when India lost a cricket match to Sri Lanka. When one's belief system espouses reincarnation, suicide becomes an easy route to evade difficulties in this life. When a person reaches the top caste, the Brahmins, after various reincarnations, the cycle of rebirth ends and he reunites with Brahman. This process of reunification is called moksha and in Buddhism it is called nirvana. The Atma becomes once again reunited with Brahma. Thus, man becomes God.